Let's take a look at how we can do a recording in VirtualBox 6. There's a lot of little gotchas here, so let's uh, be careful of how we set this up. Otherwise, you won't be recording what you think you're recording. If we click on View and we go to where it says Recording, then it actually starts recording. So if you go in the bottom right-hand corner, look at that. It is recording right now. If you go to View and click on Recording again, it stops. However, how do you know where the file is? How do you know what you got? Did you even have the settings correctly? So you need to set this all up ahead of time. So if we click on Machine Settings and go to Display, and you see a Recording tab. And here is where all this is set up. So uh, you can definitely miss that if you don't know where to look. All right, there's a couple of more gotchas here you got to be aware of. One is the file path. By default, it puts it in the exact same location as the virtual machine itself. So if I click on other, you'll see the pop up here. So there is the virtual machine, my VDI file, and uh, my, my uh, VBox, the whole thing. Um, it also has the WebM video thing we just recorded. So there's the 15 kilobytes it just recorded um, when I had pressed that button earlier. So if you don't want to put it in this location, you can hit the drop down and choose a different location or go on the left hand side and find a location you want. Now I know where this location is, so I'm not worried about leaving it there. But in case you don't know where it is, you may want to change that location. All right, the next gotcha is going to be the frame size. So we see it's 1024 by 768. But if I recorded this, it's going to cut off about half of my screen. So what you have to do first is you have to cancel out of there, go to display settings. And in display settings, go down. Now, this is a 2016 server, so your server might look, or computer might look a little different. Uh, click on advanced display settings, and you see I'm at 1920 by 975. So what I have to do is go back into settings, go back to display and recording, and I need to change my frame size. So I'll go down and see if there's a 1920 by 975. And there's not, but there's something really close, 1920 by 1080. So I'll get a little bit of an edge on my screen, but that's actually okay. And now I'm going to go into machine settings and go to display, recording, enable once again, and choose something as close as I can to that, 1920, there it is, by 1080. That's really close. Now I'm going to click OK, and look, it's going to start recording again. So I'm going to go and make some changes just to show that I actually can record some things. So I'll double click on that and open that. OK, so I've done all that. I'm going to go back to View and click on Recording again, which automatically disables it. Now I go back to my File Explorer, and I'll choose the bottom video, because that's the latest one, and double click. See, that's not too bad. So I get a little bit of a bar at the top here, uh, but side to side it looks pretty good. And now you see me moving around as I just showed you while I was doing the recording. So if you don't have the recording part set up, then make sure you go over to the settings once again. And we're going to go to audio and just make sure both of these boxes are checked here. So that's how we do recording of uh, audio and video in VirtualBox 6.